Hello, welcome to our concert series, From Our House to Yours. I'm Jonathan Miller, founder of the Boston Artists Ensemble, and I'm delighted to have here today the distinguished violinist, Lou Sheldon. And she's going to play an unusual work, which I've never heard before, by Rosha, did I pronounce it correctly? I think because so. Because I've never heard of this composer, frankly. And I'm really looking forward to the performance today. How, how did you get interested in Russia? You know, I was asked to play his Symphonia Concertante a few years ago. It's a double concerto for violin and cello. And I found his music so beautiful and well-crafted, but I'd never heard of him before. So then I started to dig in and try to find out a little bit more about him. And um, I discovered that he had written 200, over 200 movie scores. And um, he was one of several European composers who came over in the 40s and um, thought it was lucrative to uh, be a composer uh, writing music for Hollywood movies. He actually was nominated for several films and won three nominations, uh, three Oscars for Ben-Hur and Spellbound. And also he wrote uh, the score for a movie called A Double Life. And this actually was the title of his autobiography, where he actually talks about separating his movie score writing separated from his concert music. Um, but I find a lot of his concert music actually has these wonderful lush elements of his movie writing. It also has a lot of the Hungarian folk elements in his music, um, which you'll hear in this solo sonata, um, a quote that sounds like he stole it from Bartok, but I think both of them used a folk tune that they were familiar with and incorporated it into their music. This is absolutely fascinating. It interests me that he's part of that larger movement of many very gifted intellectuals and composers, scientists who fled post-war Europe and came specifically to the Los Angeles area, which was prosperous from, from cinema. So actually, because he was in the L.A. area, actually, um, Heifetz was also in the L.A. area. And um, Heifetz uh, premiered and recorded his concerto. And um, what's interesting is Heifetz um, supported a lot of these composers who, um, who were writing these concert music, like Korngold. I think it's important for performers and composers to um, collaborate, actually and bring new voices forward in uh, classical music. And I think Heifetz was uh, really active with that. And I think you're a great example of this, where you champion um, composers and ask them, commission them to create works for your series and, and you record them. And I think that's so important now to move music forward and not just play the incredible um, repertoire that's classical, and, but to also move for forward voices um, now. Anyway, I'm really looking forward to hearing this. And so without further ado, let's hear this great piece. Thank you. 
Thank <laughs> you.